Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a massive video talking about some of the best investments that you can make right now in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team because we're in the middle of a team of the year market crash. A lot of people are selling cards because of the upcoming promo and content like the Icon Player Pick Packs that are out. But this creates a very interesting scenario which we've come to expect just about every year now around team of the year is a crash and then after team of the year happens the market rising back after the promo so today we're going to talk about some investments that you might be able to make in this time period when the market is low for a rise after team of the year in the coming weeks whether it's you want to buy cards for your team or whether you're just looking to make some coins on this game there's going to be tons of opportunities to buy cards on this market in the very near future and we're going to talk about a buy time for some of the stuff as well as uh, a lot of people are ready to buy a lot of people expect the low points to be before team of the year on a lot of these types of cards that we're going to talk about in this video today so we're going to very carefully cover that as well and put kind of my perspective on when can you buy some of these cards as well so if you're excited to hear about some of these investments and if you're excited for team of the year hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new now let's get into this because we got to look at some of these prices on the market this is getting very interesting as a lot of these prices have dropped off and before we take a look at a few cards we have to kind of go to the basics right why are we going to invest why do we want to invest well we want to invest because just like in previous years we are expecting this year in team of the year a market rise after the promo now why does the market rise well a lot of people right now are saving packs people have been saving packs for honestly months some people just for a couple weeks, some people just for one week, but a lot of saved up packs are in the store. I've got a little bit here, some weekend league rewards, you know, stuff like this. I'm not going to be opening any of these until we get towards team of the year. But when team of the year comes, you see people open these packs and the market gets a lot of coins. And of course, people see the brand new team of the year cards. They see the other content is dropped. They get coins from opening their packs and then they go out and they buy teams right this is just a huge pack promo it's very similar to black friday you're going to hear me make some comparisons to black friday in this video because it's very similar to black friday which we saw a couple months ago where the market rose almost immediately upon the black friday promo coming out and especially after the week after that a lot of stuff went up on the game but that's why we expect a market rise right because a lot of people have packs they open those packs they get coins on their account from the quick sell value of those packs and from selling cards on the market and then from there they go out and instead of you know not buying because they're scared of what might happen during team of the year they see the content that is available they go out and they buy cards for their teams I 100% think that this year in FIFA, there's going to be a market rise. I mean, you take a look at some of the market rise that we had um, after Black Friday on some of these very popular cards. Like, let's take a look at even Golden Bappe, right? After Black Friday this year, there was a huge sell-off for Black Friday, and Bappe went down to 1.2 mil. He rose back up to almost 1.4. Xbox, he went down to 900, went back up to 1.02, 1.03 mil. So, I expect, just like we saw at Black Friday... A lot of cards to rebound back up now where we're going to be closely looking at the market today are going to be these types of cards out of packs special cards like the versus promo cards winter wild cards headliners everything that is out of packs team of the group stages signature signings a lot of these cards have great potential since they have dropped in price in the recent past right right now in this game they're down a lot of these guys have potential to go up the reason why we like these types of cards the most is because unless EA does some crazy stuff and puts old cards back in packs, these cards uh, get panic sold, but they have no more supply. So with more coins coming onto the market, a lot of people go out and build their teams, and they include some of these players from older promos that are still very meta, popular, and rare on the game, and this stuff goes up because it doesn't have the brand new supply to work with with that demand that is already there because people are opening packs. So that's why we take a look at a lot of these cards. Now, just to take a look back at last year, when we start to think about what types of cards will do the best, I mean, you, you kind of know, right? You kind of know just off as we watch cards get panic sold and rise back on this game almost all the time with the way the market works this year. Some of you guys know already what cards are going to do really well after the team of the year promo. It's all about what is meta, what is popular, and what is 
rare. Those three things are huge. And if you think about it, some of the cards that have come out recently in FIFA are going to give us a nice, helpful hint. And a lot of the SBCs that people have done, that those are cards that are still new and fresh and are probably going to stay in people's teams for a while. A lot of French links have been very popular, right? This Genduzi card, still 275,000 coins. You know, a lot of League One and Premier League links have been popular with some big time SBCs that we have seen lately. Like if you were somebody who just did the Icardi SBC or if you did the Kloss SBC to get Fofana in your team, right? A lot of people are still going to have those links after Team of the Year. So some of the cards that we have seen go up in price in the past weeks or so, and maybe they've gotten sold off now because Team of the Year is, is upcoming, those are the same types of cards that I would even look into very very soon for a rise post team of the year right now last year what kind of cards did the best just like we were talking about some of these out of pack special cards did absolutely incredible last year now one thing i have to make a difference between last year's market and this year's market is everything this year is just so much cheaper it's crazy and you're going to see this as we look at it, even a couple of the icons right everything this year is so much cheaper and you know look at this Sadio Mane right Sadio Mane was 1.9 million coins right before team of the year right around 2 mil after team of the year comes out he rises up to 2.3 mil um about you know you know three to four weeks after team of the year into February before he drops off a ton that's a 400,000 coin rise from when team of the year started to when he came back down. Now, that's a very expensive card. Let's take a look at somebody that's on the cheaper side of things. Lautaro Martinez, the freeze item. Now, this card was helped out, and this is part of when we're investing for Team of the Year. You always have to consider the risk, right? And there's a little bit of risk, but in this case, it worked out incredible for Lautaro. 270K right before Team of the Year explodes to 460,000 coins because of the Dybala SBC. Now, for a lot of these cards, and we're going back to FIFA 22 to talk about this, for a lot of these cards on the market, out of pack special cards, if you're picking an item that is very popular, like um, let's say like this Martial, right? Prem Striker French, one of the best Prem Strikers in the game. He's Anthony Martial, good links, good stats, five star weak foot, right? Or this Lucas Mora, right? Those are two cards that I would say thumbs up, right? You have a great opportunity of making coins on those, whether you add them to your team or whether you're buying them for an investment to rise post team of the year. The only risk that is involved with investing for team of the year is what content is ea going to put out last year of course during team of the year there was a huge emphasis on syria they dropped the franc ribery left wing flashback sbc they dropped the paulo dibala sbc and they dropped a where's the ronaldo cristiano ronaldo flashback that's three syria cards in the span of like two weeks during team of the year they also threw in the jerome boateng flashback sbc so you know the thing is, and the risk here is, let's say you bought uh, like a center attacking mid. Like I remember Joao Felix's headliner card um, last year. Yeah, here it is. Joao Felix's headliner card took a hit when this uh, when when Dybala came out because Dybala was so popular. So Felix went from 800k all the way up to 977, then went back down. Uh, I think that part of that was maybe due to a team of the week that he did not get, but also because of the Dybala SBC that came out. So the number one source of risk that you have in investing right now and investing before a team of the year promo and why some people don't like it is because you don't know what kind of content EA is going to release. And that's the only risk that we have here. But years upon years now, we have seen where a lot of these cards, especially if you spread out, right? Let's say I've got 8 million coins and I want to invest about 4 million of it into out of pack special cards or icons uh, as we head into team of the year, I'm gonna spread it out, right? I'm not gonna go all 4 million in on Lucas Mora or, or Baby Vieira if I think he's gonna rise you know, after team of the year. I'm gonna spread it out. That's why I'm starting to look at a lot of different special cards on this game, cards that are very rare, popular, and meta. Um, and then I'm gonna spread my coins out across those items on this game to hopefully uh, get some good prices and you know minimize my risk a little bit in that manner. So kind of just putting that out there, that's your really big, only biggest risk as a part of this promo. Now, since we're not talking about items that are in packs as well, that helps because we don't have to worry about people packing these cards and all sorts of that stuff. So let's talk about more cards that could be really, really good investments, right? You've seen how we looked at last year. We had a lot of cards rise on the out of, spe out of pack special market sort of things. Now, the one thing I want to note to you is if you're getting really specific with this, a lot of the cards that rise the most are from recent promos. I think headliners this year and winter wild cards are going to be insane risers after team of the year because winter wild cards was one of the best promo, 
if not the best promo of FIFA 22 so far, and maybe even in some of the past FIFAs. And yes, you've seen a lot of these cards rise up since they have left packs. Kingsley Coleman as a French striker was 554k when he left packs. He went all the way up to about, you know, mid 600, 644 in last week. Now he's back down to 480. This is the lowest this card has ever been. Bayern Lynx, right? Really interesting and a really good card on this game. So, you know, some of these cards, Pogba, right? This Pogba was so expensive at one point. He was 1.1 mil. Now he's down to 850,000 coins, right? So I think these winter wild cards, you know, not a specific card out of this whole uh, crew is going to be better than some of the others. But I mean, some of these cards are just, they, these, these cards were so hype when they came out. And they're so good in game. I just think that there's going to be many of these items that will do very well for people out of packs. Spinozola was 123 in packs, went up to 186, and he's now back down to like 140s, right? I think that's a card that I would look into. So what, however many coins you have, kind of spread out your wealth, right? If you have a million coins and you want to invest maybe five to 600,000 coins for a rise post team of the year, I would look into some cards that are maybe, you know, under 100,000 coins. There's plenty of cards like that around this market, like Mbabu, right? All right backs are absolutely mudded because of Kloss, because of the Cancelo, and because of the Darmian SBCs that have been out. You know, this dude was 145,000 coins. If there's Bundesliga content that comes out, I feel like Bundesliga is due for some good content in this game. This is the Bundesliga right back that basically everybody's going to want to use, right? Good pace, good defense and physical. He's just a FIFA player, and he's 64K. Um, I mean, I'm thinking of picking up a couple of these in the low 60s because... If we get some Bundesliga content, which I feel like we haven't had as much recently, they've kind of been focusing on Ligue 1 and the Premier League. I would kind of think that this Mbabu could rise back up to maybe even 100,000 coins, right? After Team of the Year. This Rashford item. Rashford is not as hyped in this year's game, but last year, this 87 Rashford, take a look at this, man. He went from 900,000 coins all the way to 1.3 mil. On the Xbox, he went from 800k to the higher 900,000 coin range, almost a mil. Um, in like a two, basically like a three to four week time span. That's crazy, right? Now, Rashford is not super popular in this year's FIFA. Um, for, he's just not as meta as he was. But this guy was 440k last week. He's down 100,000 coins. I know we have Sterling Player of the Month that is out for a while, but it's Marcus Rashford, right? It's an English left mid. So, you know, some of these cards too from the Versus promo, I think could be pretty solid investments along with this Mbabu card, just because these guys are really rare. Joe Gomez, Koundé as a French center back in La Liga. I mean, he was up to 325k right now. He's 270. So it's not even that big of a drop off for some of these cards. But some of these items might go even higher after team of the year because they're rare and people again get more coins and they go out and buy some of these cards, you know? So that's where I'd be looking at on the market. Look for some of these big price drops and say, hey, these cards are pretty popular and pretty meta. And I think that they're gonna be continuing to rise up afterwards. So out of pack specials, there's tons of different ways that you can go. I mean, now talking about a buy time, a lot of these cards, they've, they've hit low prices already. A lot of these cards have hit really low prices. You know, when everybody wants to know about the lowest point, and we talked about this in yesterday's video too, you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to find the lowest point for a price of a card on this game, right? Like Gabriel Jesus yesterday was like 620,000 coins. He's up like 20K, right? This Van Dyke, who is 680 right now, he was 650 yesterday, right? As a headliner, live card, VVD is not getting a team of the year this year. So you would expect that people that run Premier League squads would want to use this Van Dyke card. Um, but, you know, some of these cards may have hit their absolute lowest of lows already, but I think what you're going to have is you have a lot of people right now on FIFA that are that are rich. A lot of people just made bunches of coins from investing in SBC fodder that is super duper inflated in price at the moment, especially in the trading community, which a lot of you guys that watch this video are involved in that. So it's really going to depend on EA's content and what content we get throughout the rest of this week as to whether we see this market go up before we even get to the promo this Friday. That's going to be the biggest question. Do people start investing in these cards because they have coins readily and available and they see these price drop offs and they're like, oh my goodness, I want to get involved. Um, or does EA continue to release insane content and people wait to buy because they're still you know, involved in that content. But 
I still think that a lot of people, they hate missing out, right? People hate missing out on this game on the potential buy times for cards. So I think you're going to see people that will go out on the market here in the next two to three days and start to buy these cards. But realistically, every card is going to have its own low point, right? Every single card is going to have a different low point where, um, you know, couple hours of the, on this day, some people are panic selling. What you're going to see over the next two to three days before we get into team of the year is just a little bit of this, right? EA will put out a nice SBC, a little bit it will dip, right? Some cards will dip down on the market as people sell stuff, you know, or EA does not release any content on a day. That's going to get people thinking about, oh my goodness, these prices are so low. I'm going to start buying cards and then you'll see cards kind of rise up a little bit. So my best recommendation for you is Find cards that you want. In last night's video, we talked about planning. We talked about thinking about how much coins you want to spend on a certain investment or certain cards for your team. Like, I want to spend about 4 million coins on investments. I'm probably not going to do it all today or tomorrow. I'm going to leave myself some coins to do quick flips throughout the rest of this week, especially on Friday as we get into team of the year. But again, if you plan that stuff out and think, man, Jonathan David is mad low right now. I know Accardi is out, but Accardi is going to expire at some point, And this Jonathan David is a very popular striker. Like that's a card you could look to get in, in, involved with, right? Or um, maybe Tiago Jalo. He was 320 yesterday. Now he's 360. If you see him back down at like 330, there's a potential buy window there. So that's kind of what I'd be doing on this market right now is plan, right? And then watch the prices of the cards that you want to buy over the next two days and see if they go a little bit lower with whatever content EA releases. But then once we get to Friday, I'm telling you, once we get to Friday on this game, unless EA does something crazy, and I'm talking crazy like more than just the team of the year nominee cards and packs, or sorry, not nominees. I think on Friday we expect the team of the year attackers. And if they would do something more than just the attackers, if they did like nominees or honorable mentions and they would put a lot of cards in packs, that would, I think, scare the market a bit. And that would cause some cards to immediately drop in price with some more panic. But if it's just team of the year as we know it and they put it, they're putting cards that are like, you know, three, four million coins out on the game, then uh, you're not going to see everything on the market go down, right? It, unless it's going to be stupid, crazy content at a low cost you're not going to see this stuff really go down. So I think that, you know, it, it seems a bit weird and it seems a bit early to be buying stuff maybe on a Monday or a Tuesday. But again, you also have to get in ahead of a lot of other people. Now, I know some people bought cards yesterday as there was a drop off with the Icon SBC. If you bought during that time frame, GG. I still think there's some really low prices though out on this market right now that you can get at this time and still make a lot of coins on. So it's still a good buy time on the market. Any time in the next two to three days is gonna be a good buy time depending on what content EA release. Of course, if we see leaks, then we'll of course maybe expect the market to move a little bit because of those as well. But it's gonna be a really good time to invest in cards on this market. Now I've actually started a little bit with a couple informs. I bought a couple Tail Hernandez informs. Um, I bought like this three of them, like 180, 175,000 coins, just because this is the best French left back in the game. I feel like a lot of people are holding off on um, buying stuff at the moment. People aren't buying quite yet. But of course, maybe into today, if there's no content or tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going to see some of this out of pack stuff slowly inch up in price as people will start to invest because stuff just got too cheap, right? And people are going to say, I want to invest. Like after a video like this, people will start thinking about buying. And if EA doesn't put any more content out to make things drop, you're going to see stuff slowly rise up a little bit. But in general, right now is a great time to be looking for low prices and get on bids, right? As a lot of people are still doing icon player picks and they're kind of scared to buy, get on bids. You can save yourself an extra 10, 20,000 coins on a card just by going on bids when nobody else is doing that. Uh, so 100%, I would look out for that stuff. Be on the market looking for good prices, look for undercuts and snipes, especially around the 6 p.m. content drop when EA does put out a good SBC, which I'm sure there's going to be a couple more good SBCs throughout this week of the team of the year warm-up series leading up to the actual team of the year promo. So last thing to talk about are icons. I know I didn't actually look at icons quite yet. I'll do this really fast. I think base icons, although icons are not as hyped this year, and that's why I really stress the out-of-pack special cards, because I think a lot of those are more meta and popular than even icons are but the baby icons that are out of packs take a look at these rises from last year right rio was 900 000 coins last year of course um 
obviously we see icons are so much more expensive last year than this year this year rio 600k but he went from 600k to 1.4 mil which is crazy as an out of packs rise and then blanc went from 1.08 all the way to 1.4 as well so some of your base icons that are just again very very meta that have dropped off a ton. Now, I don't think Blanc is like that super popular in this year's game, um, you know, and you have to kind of think about these these certain cards as well as uh, for some of these icons, is the mid item really close to them in price or is the base item the best card that they have? Uh, like this Roberto Carlos is pretty low, 416K, that's pretty low for him. Um, you know, that's the kind of stuff that you have to keep in mind. Like, I'm not so sure uh, I would like a base Ronaldinho. I think a base Ronaldinho is a pretty good buy. If you can get him, let's see, 970 is what he is right now. He's out of packs, and it's Ronaldinho, the cheapest Ronaldinho that you can get. Yesterday, he went to 920, right? That was really, really low. And there's a lot of them here at 960, 970. If I saw him go to like 930, 920 again, I would potentially get involved because the next Ronaldinho is 2.7 million coins. That's a huge price gap. Um, so a lot of people, their goal on FIFA is to just get that card and just to get Ronaldinho in their team. So, uh, one other example though, that I'm not super sure about is Eto. I know Eto's on the, on the popular page here, his base item 855 that's dropped off a ton. He was a million coins. That's a huge drop off. I do think this will bounce back, but all of Eto's cards are just down horrendous, right? Even look at the mid Eto 1.08 and he was 1.4 mil just this last week. So I think that Eto has dropped off a ton and there's going to be, you know, movements for these cards and potential bounce backs for both the baby and the mid Eto. But the thing that I'm just a little bit worried about as I'm looking at these cards prices is they're kind of close together, right? A million coins versus 800K. Those cards are not very far apart. So Eto is going to be in packs during team of the year as well. So that's what I'm not too sure about, you know, for a price on some of these uh, icons that are their baby in their mid or maybe even their prime versions are very similar in price like del piero as well right del piero baby is a very very popular card i think del piero's baby item is the is the most expensive out of all of del piero's items because the prime is like four hundred and twenty thousand coins as well i'm pretty sure or it, it was it was like right around four hundred thousand coins yeah 440 it's the same price and then the mid is even cheaper so that's the only thing you have to be careful of is making sure you know which of those items whether it's the base mid or prime for a specific icon is very popular so in this case we want to make sure that the base version which is out of packs is very popular so Vieira, rio um that eto i would i would shout out um there's a lot of really good 885 i mean that's pretty cheap for this Vieira. is that going to get bought uh, it's still sitting there but there is going to be a lot of good options for icons and out of pack special cards to rise after this team of the year promo and even uh, as we get near to team of the year people are going to continue to look at these cards and say hey man these prices are really really cheap um and is there potential for me to get involved and i honestly think there is so i'm going to be keeping a close watch on these cards i'm probably going to start buying some stuff here the next couple days it just depends on the card again i'm going on a card by card basis as well going to be putting some coins into this stuff and waiting and also building packs during this time frame too since i'm going to do a lot of coins of packs that's why i've kind of set my budget as like 4 million for investing, maybe about 2 million for packs, and then 2 million just to have whatever um, so I can trade a little bit on the fly. I think that's a good mix for me. So whatever the mix is for you, figure that out. And of course, there's going to be tons of great investments. Hopefully, this video helped you out a lot. And again, there's always the unknown of eSports and the content they could release, but all signs point towards a nice market rise coming after Team of the Year this year as usual. So if this video helped you out at all, of course, hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.